I shot my first movie. We saw another doe come out, and this was like picture perfect. That I actually saw through the flesh and the bone. It's another adventure with the team of Best of Bull Run. We're waiting to get on the ferry in North Sydney, Nova Scotia towards Newfoundland. What's the plan, girls? What are we after? For Amy and I, we're after some bull moose this year. What do you think, girl? One each. Yes. And we'll see what Dad gets. What do you think, bud? I'm, I'm actually after one of these trophy black bears Newfoundland has. We're told they're up to 700 pounds or so. We'll see how this will be. I'll be happy with 200. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. We're here in Port of Bass, Newfoundland. We have a four hour ride out into the woods here ahead of us. We'll just be excited to get back to the lodge. <laughs> I gotta get in there. They told me they got a big bear in behind the camp. So the plan is I'm gonna take the bear, but I got a surprise in store for the girls. If they miss a moose, guess who's gonna shoot the moose? They're getting one chance, and if they blow it, dad's getting the moose. They don't know that yet, but that's the way it's gonna be. <laughs> So Joel was with us the last time we were over, and Dwayne, and these boys know how to make short work of a moose. So boys, what's back in here right now? You got a lot of moose, you save a few for us? Save a few, yeah. More than a few back here. Yeah, how big are we talking? I don't know what's in there last week, what was in there last week? I don't know. Uh, I wasn't in last week. He wasn't, he, these boys, don't, they, they don't want to make any commitments, but that's good. <laughs> yeah. Let's get this stuff geared up and head up over the mountain, boys. Yeah. Make, commit, make commitments, then you got the old one. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody wants to make any commitments, I don't blame them. No. All right, let's get geared up, fellas. So we just got suited up, we got on the overalls. Ready to go. Got on the jackets. We're going to be warm on this trip, which I'm told is how long? About four hours yes. back in the woods. I should remember, <laughs> I've done this before, guys, but we got Amy along for the drive, and it's a moose hunt. We're excited. Anytime you go on an extreme adventure, adventure like this, you got a plan for everything. And we ran into some torrential downpours, incredible country that we had to try to get through. We had eight wheel drive off road vehicles, and those things were put to the match just to get us into camp to try to wait out the rain. It was uh, just the trip, trip in itself was, the, was an adventure.
It's no wonder the Vikings decided to stay when they landed here. We're just scoping it out, see if we can see anything. The first day out hunting, 20 minutes out, we spotted a cow and a calf. We just stopped to wait for some of the other crew, and off in the distance, Amy and I got a chance to see two, two moose. moose. <laughs> two moose, and we were right excited. We were going on to each other thinking, <laughs> does it have antlers? Does it not have a big rack? But it's a female. So we're going to call one of the other cow. boys up. We're going to call the other boys up, see if we can find some bull. I think the other one's standing right behind her, Can. Look at her ears perked right up. Yeah. Oh, yeah okay. She sees us looking at Do you at see her. that shot, like the darkness just to the left of her? Yeah. Well, this time around in Newfoundland, I'd like to get a big bull moose. The last time that I was here, I told you it was only a couple hundred pounds. It was only maybe a couple years old, so his rack wasn't that big. So you and I want something huge, like is on Rick's wall at the cabin. Amy and I were after the bull moose, so we figured this would be perfect for Steven and Jensen. That's only about 300 yards. It's going to be a little further. You're going to, off to the right? No. No? I don't see that. No? Oh, there they are. Okay. Can what blonde patch? Is the little one right behind it? Come on. I think I hit her the second time. I eh? thought I hit her the first time. Yeah, she, she's coming back around. The second time. Yeah, he didn't. He definitely didn't like that one. There's two moose down. Hey, Judson, where were you aiming at that? Where were you aiming at that moose? To the head? Yeah. Well, the first time I was was shooting too low. Eh? I I was thinking 300 yards. Oh, man. Woo! Okay, the first day we get out of the camp to hunt. We saw this big cow with a calf over on the other side. We had to move probably a mile and a half to get in position for a 400, 425 yard shot. And uh, fortunately, we got a bullet in the moose and she's down. There's going to be some good eating here. Today is the day, Amy. We were out for Stevens yesterday. We didn't really get a chance to get much more time in for us. Today's the day. Today is the day. We're out for the big moose. Join us. The sun's going to clear off and we're going to get the day we've been waiting for.
So we got our rigs parked. Walking from here, we're gonna lay low and we're gonna sneak up on the moose because we know that from way back there, we've seen them up here on a hill and we don't wanna make any noise at all. Just scope them out. We're going to get them. It is on like Donkey <laughs> Kong now. Locked and loaded. Road again. On the road again. Huh? Oh, I feel fantastic. There's a rock out across here. We're going to go up to that when they come around. That moose should break out out here in the open. And I want guns blazing. Well, right. if we're set up in a good spot, guns will be blazing. Guns will be blazing. <laughs> So what we thought from far off in a distance was maybe a bull moose, we snuck up and it is not a bull moose, but we've got two more spotted just down this way. So Amy and I are just gonna head out and see if we can spot it out. So we had about two hours of daylight left. Up on the ridge we could see this giant bull moose. The rut was supposed to be over and this puppy turned for a call. And we said, you know what, we might be able to pull this thing off. So this big bull was up on a ridge and he had to be one and a half kilometers away. And last resort, we tried a cow call, and you know, just like a lot of guys use a sucker for a gal. So this big bull was coming down to draw towards us. We lost sight of him t uh, temporarily. Thought that we'd switch locations and maybe be able to ambush. With the time that we had and, and the light disappearing, we, I mean, we were down to the wire on this phone. We're gonna move.
turn broadside Those gunshots rang out and that big bull crashed to the ground. I tell you, I couldn't have been more prouder of these two ladies. And he ever collapsed. Candace McIsaac. Woo! Yeah. When I seen the moose hit the ground, words can't explain the way I felt. I'm slightly afraid to go up to it right now. It's so damn huge. <laughs> it's like a Newfoundland dinosaur. Wow. Candy. Privileged enough to have my best friend Amy out here with me. We got success, girl. It's been a long week, but it was all worth it. <laughs> this is the trophy moose that Amy and I were after, and this is magnificent thanks to these Quigley Ford scopes, guys. You know, I wasn't that far away from the moose, but this is what it is all about. <laughs> <laughs> what do you think? I'm not big enough now. And you were fun shots after? Yeah. You're shooting this old. Well, was I? Mm -hmm. Where was shooting at the head? Well, look at the... First shot? Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Man, what a moment. Woo! Well, yeah! Yeah! Well, with this thing way, way up, Cliff. Yeah, that's a big ball. This will be some good eating. Good. Join us next week for more Best of Bull Run. Hopefully you're not stuck under there. As soon as he turned broadside, I knew he was mine. <laughs> so anyway, get up there. What are you doing? I'm watching him move the camera. What are you doing? <laughs> so what happens? This is what happens when you go in business with family. Go ahead. To experience world-class move, move. <laughs> move, <laughs> move, 
Move. <laughs> anyway, you good? Yeah. 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 Okay. And he just toppled over. Dwayne, Cliff, all the boys, the cooks back at the lodge. Joe. We had a fabulous time here in Newfoundland, guys, and we wouldn't have it wouldn't have been so successful without the help of the crew. Thank you, Cliff. Thank you. Woo! That's out.